Our speaker is Tristan Slavinsky, who served seven years as an officer in the U.S. Army. Upon completion of service, he became an entrepreneur and is currently working at, on two web startups. Tristan has been involved in the entrepreneurs community since its inception. He volunteered with Talent Connect, led the effort to include seed funding for the entrepreneurs uh, community's funding network, and is attending the um, entrepreneurs community's rapid launch course. Uh, I think this is something that's been missing in Williamson County, and it was really nice to see this <coughs> take form. They've started an angel network and a lot of other things to really support entrepreneurship in Williamson County. Uh, we're happy to have Tristan Slavinsky here. Thanks. Uh, so again, I'm Tristan Slominski and I'm a WEC. WEC, that's what we call the Contribution Community for short. Like it's kind of long saying it after a while. Um, and I'm a WEC facilitator, so I help out with um, everything that needs to be done. Um, so let's get distractions out of the way. My accent is Polish. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I really was in the army. Uh, my hair grows really fast. Uh, now, that, now that we got that out there, I'm going to tell you about what, uh, what WEC is. And by the end of the presentation, you should have a pretty good idea of what the community has to offer to you and how we can help you. So uh, Robert Phelps is the founder of WEC. And um, here on his behalf, um, he, was in, he wanted to attend it in this person, but he got called away on, on business, so he can't be here and I'm replacing him. Um, but he founded WEC based on an idea called uh, economic gardening that came out of uh, Littleton, Colorado in 1987. And essentially, economic gardening is uh, sort of akin to uh, pulling yourself by own, pulling yourself out by your own bootstraps. So it's focused on local businesses local entrepreneurs, primarily entrepreneurs, in order to improve the economy, create more jobs, and create a sustainable environment. Um, the community is focused around four values, and those are, those are the community, cross-pollination, collaboration, and coordination. Community being the community at large, everybody helping each other. Cross-pollination being that there are people from all kinds of walks of life that are part of the community, and a lot of very interesting things happen things happen when you bring people like that together. Um, collaboration is everybody helping each other out. And then coordination is um, finding a way to make sure that everybody can do the other three efficiently and, and put the world together. Um, so why would this possibly work? Uh, how can we put ourselves by our bootstraps? So there's research to show that entrepreneurs bring innovation. Entrepreneurs create new wealth, and innovation and new wealth are the primary drivers of economic growth. Um, I don't remember off the top of my hand the statistics. I'll be happy to provide provide them to you if you'd like to hear about them. But that's there's there's studies and as well as the economic gardening experiment that show that this actually does drive economic growth. And so that's why world entrepreneur community is a, is an important part of what's going on. Now, what can a WEC do for you um, as a HATO? Um, it's, again, it provides, a big piece of it is providing stable local economy. Again, think of local, again, just think of what, what entrepreneurs from local businesses, where the local businesses are bartering with each other, interacting with each other, can do for stability. There is, no offense, but there's then there's no one big, corporation that provides the jobs and what they leave then what happens to the community at large. With uh, entrepreneurs that are grown locally, um, the community is much more resilient to change, uh, much more adaptable, much more innovative as um, they have to come up with solutions in order to get the businesses and get them, get, get, them grow, get them growing without any external help. Of course there is external help, but um, if, if you set up with the mindset of we're going to help ourselves and the community is much more vibrant. So, here are the types of people that are involved in the WEC. Um, of course, we have the entrepreneurs, which are the lifeblood of the community. Again, this is a very entrepreneur-focused organization. Um, but entrepreneurs don't live in a vacuum. So, um, entrepreneurs need mentors and coaches. 
Um, they need talent, people who are willing to help them work, bring their vision um, into reality, and also investors to help fund them. There we go. There we found the investors meeting. And investors to help, you know, to have the cash and money is um, the livelihood of every business. So it's going to keep doing that. Okay, I will, I will guard this. Um, okay, where was I? So money is the livelihood of every business. So investors are a very important part of the community, and we'll go into more about that um, later on. So that's the vision, that's what's the principles that's based on, that's who, uh, who are part of the community, so what are we doing? Um, so, as you've seen us before, um, the WEC mission is consists of four initiatives that are tangible steps that we are actually taking in order to um, make the vision come, come reality. And those four, pro so we actually created four programs, one of them is a networking program, another one is a support program, talent program and the funding program because we you know we are doing what the vision is so uh, I'll, I'll go over and tell you about those four programs right now so it all started with the networking group um, essentially the, the way the whole Wilco entrepreneur community began is Robert Phelps wanted to barter banter business ideas he wanted to find other entrepreneurs where he could Share his share his insights as an, as a serial entrepreneur himself could educate and help the community and also just throw out ideas and find out what feedback, what feedback he could get. Um, so I was lucky enough to be at the very first meeting, so I got to see the growth of the community from that very first meeting of, of I think it was like seven of us sitting around a sitting around a table to what has become now, where we meet in uh, three different locations. Um, across the county where instead of just now barring business we have speakers that come in we had Gary Hoover address um, the community I think it was um, a month ago or so and um, we have tutorials um, where we have entrepreneurs educating on business practices how to raise funding things like that um, we still banter businesses where we get to throw ideas around and this isn't just talking about okay let's have some ideas it's actually people with business problems coming in, say, hey, I have this problem, and here's what I'm thinking of solutions, what does everybody else think? And this is where the cross-pollination becomes very important because you're going to have somebody with an internet business and say, hey, I have this accounting problem, I don't know what I'm doing, and you're going to have somebody from a completely different sector, somebody who frames pictures, and they'll help them out with accounting, and this is how you do it, this is how you get started. So cross-pollination is a big part of it, and um, we're very strong supporters of that at the, at the Entrepreneur Network. And then, of course, networking is part of everything that we do, is getting to know other entrepreneurs in the community and everybody else that's involved. So, that's what the community started with, is those meetings. But uh, soon, uh, we realized that we need more than just weekly meetings where people get together. And so, we came up... So, we started this program called WEC Support. And very quickly, that itself started expanding and became what you see here, <coughs> WEC University, Masterminds, WEC Interns, and WEC Community Workspace. 